said times in his rhymes cause his memories We running through New York so you never leave Shut my lungs then we puff until we're that right We're giving them some stories they come back like Manic this, manic that, why you crawling to me? The hell we okay guys, welcome back to the channel Today we're going to be speaking about a common subject That a lot of people message me all the time Especially when I do an oil change video on any of the cars Asking if they can use this certain product right here now this is an engine motor flush and i'm going to go over the reasons why you should not be using this liquid on any cars these days from around 2000 let's pull it and upwards and especially on bmw and i'm going to explain to you why that is why you shouldn't use any motor flush be it forte be it wines be it liquid moly no matter what the product is you shouldn't be using these on your car okay guys as you see here this is the s85 motor now this isn't just going to apply for this engine, this is going to apply to a lot of different engines, BMW related, Honda, any of the sort of engines that a lot of you guys probably are aware of. Now, the reason you shouldn't be using this product, which a lot of people always ask me, and as you see, the bottle's still sealed, where well, I do not use it on the cars. You would have seen me use it on one engine, and I'm going to explain why that was, and the whole reason why I did use it on that particular engine. But you don't see me using it at all, on newer and low mileage engine that's there's a reason for that and i'm gonna explain why that is so if many of you guys don't know bmw honda a lot of different companies even toyota use variable valve timing now bearing in mind a lot of these variable valve timing use a lot of solenoids a lot of motors a uh, lot of springs that advance the timing they use a lot of springs for the timing and obviously the valve system itself now in the, them systems itself they've got a lot of little oil passages where the oil flows through now what this liquid can end up tend to do um, is end up clogging up all the filters inside the solenoids a lot and also stopping up the oil passages inside the engine and stopping the oil to actually flow properly now a lot of people are under the belief to use this now you would have seen me use it many times and the only time i ever use is if the engine has got build up of sludge now my m52 did have that s85 motor doesn't have that you would have seen me use it on the m54 as well that's because it had a sludge build up and this is all due to lack of oil changes these engines will get sludge build up i do recommend to use it just the once only if you do have sludge build up to clear it up but then again if you do use it please be aware that a lot of that old sludge in the engine could actually be helping the pistons by sticking around it to stop oil blow by where if you end up clearing that out and clearing that around the piston rings you could end up with your oil consumption actually going higher and you could end up actually doing more damage to your engine by actually taking away all that sludge that's actually been helping the engine all its life now we used to see this in a lot of garages people would ask us to use this product we would advise them not to use this product but the client would insist they would bring it with their oil because some garages we used to allow them to bring their own parts and we used to tell them and highly recommend them this isn't going to make your engine run better even if you have an issue changing the oil is the best thing for the car these days a lot of new oils have detergents in them to actually keep the engine clean from sludge now a lot of people do not actually believe that back in the old days oils didn't have a detergent inside them therefore older engines would end up creating a lot of sludge inside the engines it was perfectly normal because oils back then didn't have a detergent in it to actually keep it clean inside that being said if you was to buy I don't know an old crapper for like 250 quid 300 dollars and the engine wasn't running right then by all means go ahead and use this it'll probably make your engine run better but for something like this engine or any kind of expensive car for instance the v8 and things like that i would not recommend to actually use it any car realistically with a variable valve timing should be avoided to actually use the motor flush because at the end of the day if you do end up stopping up the oil passages you can end up damaging the valve tronic motor and i've seen a lot of people especially come to the garages when i used to work in garages with vanos codes and the valve tronic not actually advancing the variable valve timing having problems and it's all because they use the motor flush and it's actually clogged up the filters now if a lot of you guys don't know you've got the m52 and you always go on about the vanos filters which sits down here on the side you'll know on the engine a lot of people it's because they're using motor flush on the engine to try and rectify an issue that's actually caused on the valve tronic system itself a lot of the time this stuff ends up stopping it up which ends up clogging up the filters which ends up damaging the solenoids at the same time and a lot of the time it can end up going badly and end up damaging the whole camshaft itself and the camshaft bearing ledges on the m52 as well which is very very well known because of people using this stopping up the oil not letting oil actually flow properly Therefore, if you are looking to do an oil change on your car, I do recommend not to use this product, not to use liquid moly, not to use wines, try and avoid an engine flush if you can. The best thing to do if you wanna 
flush your engine is to get extra oil by in bulk let that oil work itself around the system for at least I don't know a week and then change it again that's the best way to actually flush your system do not go by on the basis of this you see here this bottle is actually new and I'm just going to show you just for peace of mind you see here it's actually sealed it hasn't been opened and I don't intend to use it either like I say I do keep it here because I do get a lot of people actually come to the garage wanting me to repair their cars and therefore they might end up wanting to actually use it it's all on their matter of opinion I always advise everybody the same as I used to do in the garages this stuff isn't going to help your issues. Now, you're not going to say I do recommend Forte products a lot. That's correct. I actually do. This valve stem seal conditioner, I do. But again, that's not a guarantee it's going to fix your valve stem seals. That's just, it might. And it will be if it pays off and it actually does work, well, you've just saved yourself three to four grand actually on the job itself, actually doing valve stem seals. So other products are worth it. It depends on the price of the car as well. Is it worth to do the job properly? Or is it worth just to use a cheap fix for now to keep it? And if it works, you've got a bargain because you can sell the car for more. It depends on how much you've actually paid for the car and what car it is it's actually referring to as well. Bear in mind, I don't recommend this product. I will never will and you will see me or will never go inside this engine. I do strongly believe any motor with a variable valve timing engine should not be using motor flush by no means whatsoever. So there you have it guys, that's my take on it. If you should use an engine motor flush, which is an engine oil adhesive that you actually put in the old oil and actually flush your engine before you actually change the oil to clear any crude or any sludge out of the engine. My best advice is not to use this product because it can actually cause more harm to the engine than it's actually worth. Now, as I said, if you have got a cheap car and you're looking to try and find a cheap, easy fix, go ahead and use this. It might actually work for you, but if you've got something expensive like this M5, or for instance, your E6 and you actually care for it, and it's actually had its regular oil changes all the time on time, therefore there is actually no need to actually use a motor flush liquid. As I said, oils do have detergents in them, so therefore it's gonna keep the engine clean constantly anyway back in the old days that wasn't so much the case you would always see sludge on old engines and people back then didn't care that's why if you're an old person comes to actually buy a car and see sludge it doesn't actually concern them because back in their time sludge wasn't a big factor because there was no detergents it's oil and a lot of people old school people have ways to actually get rid of this sludge build up from the engine by taking a valve cover and actually cleaning it off actually properly but obviously if you want to actually get the full sludge out, you're going to have to do a full engine rebuild. As I said, the sludge is actually a good thing if it's sitting around the piston rings, leave it there. If you do end up getting rid of it, it could actually cause high oil consumption because that might actually be sealing the piston rings to stop your oil loss as well, especially on your BMW. Therefore, I don't recommend to use it. So thank you very much for watching this BMW Dr. Dean here, and I hope this is going to actually clear up a lot of the issues I get asked on a daily basis regarding engine motor flushes and oil motor flushes. So thank you very much for watching this BMW Dr. Dean here, and goodbye.